Somewhere in about 30 minutes, one of us will be coming down to change the reel on the tape recorder over there. Yeah, everybody knows it's an album. Yeah, sure, it's on the internet. So, um, Monty Monty Casanza over there will be making the video cassette, the whole proceedings, and he's going to try and include everybody here in the video cassette at some point. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before I move on to the actual subjects of today's video, I would like to give you guys an update on something I mentioned on Twitter, if you happen to follow it. In case you do follow my Twitter, I had been writing a scripted video on the thrash metal band Sepultura since November, December of 2019, but due to some bizarro circumstances and me being a lazy piece of shit, I haven't gotten around to actually finishing the script. But until then, it's just gonna be stuck in limbo. But anyhow, I went to see two movies this weekend. One was an extremely hilarious, very entertaining piece of trash that will bound to make you giggle and have a great time if you go see it. <laughs> and the other is The Hunt. Yep. Yep, The Hunt. Whew. So anyway, Let's start off with the boring movie. The Hunt was originally supposed to come out late 2019 last year, but due to some circumstances, to quote it uh, mildly, the film was pushed back, ahem, I mean, not so much delayed as it was seemingly canceled because people got really, 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 really upset over the film's plot line. A very politically charged plot line that if you actually see the film, you realize it's a bunch of horseshit. Yes, there's this whole thing about one side going after the other, but it's done in such a stupid, stupid, basic bitch way. Did you swear it was like an episode of Saturday Night Live stretched out to feature length, albeit with massive amounts of blood and guts? Yeah, imagine that. A really lame, dull-ass, overly long version of a political Saturday Night Live skit with copious amounts of gore. And that's really what, all you can really talk about it. Yeah, there's the lead chick who was on the TV show Glow, which I haven't watched yet, who I swear was supposed to be autistic in the film. Yeah, we have a film where everybody's getting blown up, killing each other, and yet the lead is a fairly apolitical autist, or sped if you want to put it mildly or something. And I found that really adorable. And honestly, the film is not really worth watching because even with the uh, seemingly fantastic protagonist of the film, it's just not worth trudging through really, 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 really unfunny basic bitch comedy with gore thrown in. I've seen people compare it to the Belko experiment, but in my opinion, at least the Belko experiment was a exercise in nihilism and nastiness that really, really, really did not sit well with me. That film was really, really, really unpleasant. But hey, at least it did that. The Hunt, on the other hand, was just fucking lame. Jesus Christ. You could do so much better. No, in fact, I've seen better than that. There's a film that came out around the same time as Mandy called Assassination Nation, and it's also very politically charged, but the way it portrays the breakdown of politics and everything was painted like it was a fucking fever dream. Seeing that and Mandy back to back was fucking amazing. But this boring slug of crap? Nah, 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 nah. Just skip it, skip it. Just don't. Nah, nah, nah. Just pass. It's not even worth a rental. You probably see clips of the lead actress uh, autism online at a later date, at a later date or something. But skip. It's just not worth it. It's just very lame, very basic, just pfft, nothing special. We are leading the way in the greatest human advancement of all time. He's unlike anything we've seen before. With that lame ass shit out of the way, let's talk about the real enjoyment of the night. As for the other movie I saw, Bloodshot was by far the more entertaining of the two. 
and dear oh god, Bloodshot was amazing. It's not a good movie in any means of the imagination, but my god, it was enjoyable as fuck. It was objectively not a particularly good movie, but it was a very, very entertaining film. For my money, it was, without a doubt, the funniest fucking movie Vin Diesel has done in a really, really long time. <laughs> oh, that's not good. It was such a fun, goofy ass film. I swear I haven't seen a film this unintentionally funny since the days of the Vatican tapes and the snowman. And I argue it's way better than either of those. Still not a good movie, but perfectly enjoyable trash. There is a scene really early on in the film that really, really reminded me of a scene from a fucking Keanu Reeves movie that came out last year called Replicas. The way the line was overdubbed in the film was fucking hilarious. It reminded me of that Keanu Reeves bit so much. I'd still laugh thinking about it. <laughs> it was so fucking hilarious. <laughs> but anywho, like The Hunt, I didn't really go into this movie with much expectations. Because I remember the old comic book back in the day. And from what I've seen of the comic book character, Vin Diesel looks nothing like the comic book version of Bloodshot. Not at all. But you know what? Put that shit aside. Bloodshot is a delightful throwback to the days of fucking schlocky ass canon action movies and Italian ripoffs and all that shit. If that thing is your jam, go on and watch this silly movie. It is such a goofy ass blast. Also, this film had quite possibly the first ever heterosexual relationship with a woman Vin Diesel ever had that actually felt believable. He and Liza Gonzalez had shockingly good chemistry together on screen. And I've never seen that with Vin Diesel in any other fucking movie. If this was a fucking vanity project for Vinny D, hats off to him. This was some grade A crap, and I love every fucking minute of it. I mean, it's not fucking stalker or anything good in that regards, but it is totally worth a watch. It was such a goofy shit. Just take my word for it, if you were to go to the movie theaters and risking catching the coronavirus or some shit, just go see Bloodshot. It is so much more worth your time than that fucking boring ass, unfunny slog of hunt. I mean, it wasn't a slow movie, it's just very, very painfully unfunny. Whereas Bloodshot was unintentionally hilarious to the max. It was so, so much more funny. Like, it, it is the perfect example of why a movie that wasn't meant to be funny is so much more entertaining than something that was supposed to be funny but just comes off as fucking lame as shit. <laughs>